could be ending the game here. Hint, return here when you've earned every clear gym. Oh, is this some kind of a bonus level if you have all the gems? A hidden gem. Oh, I'm standing on platforms made out of the gems. Ah, oh, okay. So this is a level for the tryhards who got all of the clear gems then. That's cool. I'm never going to get to see anything about it, but I got a trophy off of it, so that's all that matters. So this is just a freebie level, basically. All right, that works for me. So that means we're on to the final, then. I'm not even at 20 minutes yet. I don't know. <laughs> I might be ending this in about half an hour. I'm not sure how I'm going to break up the videos if that happens. I guess, like, 15 minutes. I'll have to go back to that instead of the 20-minute parts, because I don't want to make just one 30-minute one. Dr. Neo Cortex. Let's do it. Going down, Cortex. This is your end. Certain energy bolts can be deflected back at them. This is probably going to involve a lot of deaths, maybe even some retries. I'm on the blimp. Cool. Hey! You You're going down, buddy. He's got like an earthworm gym gun. The green one. That could be deflected. Definitely. Yep, knew it. He's got to have a second form. With his health bar being that low. Nope. Oh, I got hit by that. I didn't even realize I got hit by it. Alright, this is going to be difficult. Crash Bandicoot. Let's go. Alright. First one's pretty easy. What else we got? I don't like that. No green this time. Oh, there. Oh, he just shoots a bunch of green now. What the heck? It just sits there? Did I just mess that up, or is it ever going to hit him somehow, or... I don't know what the deal is there. Oh, you have to hit two of them to hit them. Okay, that's fair. Really wish I had, like, a single Aku Aku mask. Would make this much better for me. All right, there's one. There's one. That's not green. I thought it was going to be green. The timing on these is really weird. I don't like these bouncy ones. But so far, so good. Green. There we go. Oh, no, I didn't notice the purple one. I was too busy looking at the green. All right, this is this boss fight is going to take a while. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, darn me, am I right? Cortex is the kind of villain I would be. Go up against my enemy and just say, darn you! That's totally what I would do. I'm really worried about... It's already getting fairly difficult after you get, like, the second hit. Oh, that hit me. It didn't even look like it touched me, honestly, but you know what? Whatever. Cortex, I'm sorry it has to be this way. I'm pretty sure in one of the games we end up being friends for a little while, so... We'll work out our differences then. There we go, there we go. I don't think that's one of the first three games, though. I think that's, like, one that was actually pretty recent. I can't remember what it was called. I didn't play it. All right, green. I needed that other green, dang it. That's not green. It's also not green. So far, so good. There we go, got it. All right, I might be a bit quiet during this, by the way. I gotta focus a good bit here. Nope. I feel like probably what's going to end up happening is the way I win this is if I get a single Aku Aku mask for one of the runs, and it's also a good run. I don't feel like that touched me. I think the hitboxes are a little skewed in Cortex's favor for this fight, because that's like, I think two or three times now I've died, and each time it feels like I wasn't hit, but the game says I was. But hey, I'm not a game developer. What do I know? All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. First stage means nothing. I That one did hit me. I bamboozled myself on that one. No, darn you! Hope you guys are ready for a video of me fighting Cortex. Because that's what this entire video is going to be, probably. And then the credits. If there are credits, I might not give you credits until you finish all three games. I don't know. Nope. Not today, Cortex. That one was entirely my bad. I wanted to get over the bottom one 
Hey, Akuku. I wanted to get over the bottom one that was going across the screen before he uh, shot the green lasers, so I jumped preemptively to try and accomplish that, and that was foolish. First stage is like, doesn't even exist, honestly. It should just start me on the second stage of Cortex's bullets. All right, you know what? This is fine, this is fine. I really thought I would've hit that. Not green, thought it would be green. Was not green. He goes through the whole stage again before he fights, or before he shoots green again. There we go. There we go, all right, all right. Still got my mask, we doing good so far. This is fine. Hopefully. Ah, oh, dang it, Aku Aku, thank you. There's one. Green, green again, that's not green. Oh, I hate this. When they start going sideways, that's when I want to check out. That was so poorly timed. I don't know what hit me there, actually. I don't know if that was the purple one or if the green one was just like a horrible hitbox and hit me. I might actually be doing this until I get the golden Aku face, to be honest. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. I'm here to win the game, not to be great at it. You don't have to be great at games to win them. You just have to be willing to go far enough, I guess. Dang it. It's really hard to tell where to hit those. Sometimes. This is fine. There we go. There we go. All right. Starting to get through the second phase a lot more reliably. That's good. That's good. Have I gotten through the third phase at all yet? I don't think I have. Ah, oh dang it! I think that's the same one that hit me last time. What am I doing there? Also, I pressed square, but the game didn't spin me. So thanks, game. I'm blaming you on that one. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. I've killed you nine times, but you're still here. That's not how it's supposed to work. There we go. Thank goodness he only has five HP bars, by the way. At first, I thought, like, he's got to have a second form. That's too little. But actually, without difficult this is being... Only having five seems very logical, but he might still have a second form. Time will tell. Ah, dang it. All right, he goes through the whole phase again. It's the same as it was before. Dang it. I gotta get through this stage more reliably. That's my problem right now. There we go. Very good, very good. Don't have my mask, unfortunately, but I'll make it work. Probably not. We're probably gonna die again, to be honest, but you know, I'll try my hardest as I die and disintegrate. Hey, Aku Aku. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, yeah, darn me, I know. <laughs> there we go, all right. It might actually come down to a point to where if I just be quiet, I can win this. I might have already won it, actually, if I had just if I just didn't have to commentate. I feel like that's how it is for me a lot of the times on platformers specifically. If I just don't have to commentate, then I'm fine. I really need to get better at hitting that second one before it restarts this whole phase. That would save me a lot of headache. There we go. There we go. All right. Third stage, still have a Kua Kua mask. Good so far. Third stage is where it gets serious, though. I didn't get hit by that one again, which is normally... But I didn't realize that was going to be green. I didn't think that was supposed to be green yet. Dang it. I thought I was supposed to get green after these. Got to pay attention for those greens. Right here. There we go. I almost didn't realize that second one in time. Thank goodness I did. Give me another green. Give me another green, Cortex. That's not green, Cortex. Cortex, you don't understand. I need more green in my life. Yes. There we go. All right. New area. Got the mask. Never seen this stage before. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stop that. Actually, that was pretty simple. Keep doing that. Yes. Oh, I only needed two on that one. All right, I might have this. I have the Aku Aku mask still. Oh, that was green immediately. Ah. Oh, does he just get, is like, okay, he just gets weaker in the fourth and fifth stage. It's the third stage that's where the trouble is. Cortex incapacitated, nice. Yeah, once you get past the third stage, it's actually like easy street. Okay. Is there another level or is that it?
All right, I guess that's the end. Crash is actually like a footstool compared to his girlfriend, whose name I think is Tana, is what I was told. I think it's Tana. One of my buddies, Hammerhead, in the comments told me like twice. I kept getting the name wrong. I think it's Tana. T-A-W-N-A. -A. She's like really taller than Crash. I don't know if she's freakishly tall or Crash is freakishly short, but one of them's off. But anyways, hey, we do get credits for this. This is a really fun game. Honestly, like, I enjoyed the entirety of this game, except for, of course, High Road. Leo Momo Monkey Zuniga. Nice. Nice name there, lead designer. Or level designer specifically, I think it was. But uh, yeah, that was really fun. That was a good final boss battle. I liked it. It was just difficult enough, but I definitely think the levels of Crash Bandicoot are far more difficult than the bosses. But the bosses are nice too. It's good to have them there. Uh, yeah. Good level design. Great fun. Not sure about the whole 100 percent thing by breaking all the boxes and not dying. It seems like that's really only for super tryhards who really want to challenge. Which is fair. I might try and do some of it in my spare time, but... I'm not going to do it on video because it'd just get really tedious. Every time I died, I'd have to restart the whole level, and yeah. I think we're just going to pass on that, and I'm going to move on to the next game, which I think the second Crash game is Wrath of Tor- uh, Wrath of Tortex, yeah. Is Wrath of Cortex. So, I'll be starting that soon. I think this is going up Sunday. It should be going up as two 15-minute videos instead of 30- or 20-minute videos because I've only got about half an hour recorded here. But, uh, I'll have these go up today, which is Sunday. Yeah. I think tomorrow is Monday. I'll try and, if I have time to record tonight, I got some other stuff to do. I'll try and record the first session of Wrath of Cortex tonight, so that way it can be up Monday, as in tomorrow, from when you're seeing this video, probably, if you watch this video around the time it was uploaded. So we can get started on that. I'll also have to upload some Zelda with it, because I gotta get nine Zelda videos up before Wednesday. So I guess I'll try and do, like, three Crash videos and three Zelda videos tomorrow, and then six Zelda videos on Tuesday, and then more Crash on Wednesday while I'm streaming Zelda. That sounds right. I'll try and do that. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it was a really good game. I really enjoyed this game. Again, if you just take out High Road, it's enjoyable all the way through. I enjoyed the game entirely. It was very much fun. Really glad that I played it. Just really wish High Road didn't exist. It's, it's, the only, it's the only legitimate complaint I can give this game. It's the only time that I felt like the game was just stupid rather than fun was in High Road. Every other level I enjoyed, even if it was difficult. I think the most difficult level, if you don't count High Road, was the level right after High Road that I can't remember the name of. But that one was, uh... That one was really difficult but fun. And a super special shout-out to Naughty Dog and the original Crash Bandicoot team members who contributed to the original three games. Yeah, shout-out to them. They made some great games. I'm really looking forward to the second and third one. I don't know if the second and third one are, in general, easier or harder than this one. But I've heard that all three of them are still pretty difficult. I just don't know how they relate to one another in terms of difficulty. But I'm really looking forward to playing the second and third one. This one was really short like I thought. I don't know how long the second and third ones are in comparison. But I'm going to get them all done, so we'll see. I'm just waiting for these credits to finish rolling. I mean, there's not really... This is a really old game, and it's really uh, simplistic, you know. It's a platformer. It's a fairly short platformer. Because, let's see, this took me, like... Four and a half hours? Yeah, four and a half hours. Four and a half hours I beat the game. Like the regular game, not doing any of the bonus stuff. That's that's pretty good for a game, especially this old. But it was definitely enjoyable. It's a good game. Would recommend. If you got a PlayStation 4, you want to go pick up the... I think it's only on PS4. You want to go pick up the uh, Crash Trilogy? Honestly, I'd it's only 40 bucks. I'd suggest it just off of this one alone. If you like to... Especially if you like to 100% stuff. It would totally be worth it for trying if you want to 100% because you'll probably get a few more hours out of it. $40 to get, like, if you have 100 percent everything and you're not, like, super incredibly good so you just, like, do it flawlessly at the start. Probably get, like, I don't know. How much time would you get out of the game? Probably, like, at least six hours. That's not a lot of time for a 40-hour game, but if you really, if it's a 40-hour, a, 40 a $40 forty dollar. It's not a lot of time out of a game for $40 in hindsight compared to the games of today, but it also comes with the other two games, which definitely make it worth it, and it, even if it was just this game, I probably still would have gotten it because it was fun. So if you enjoy this kind of thing, it's probably worth it. I would recommend it. I hope the uh, second and third game live up to this one, except with less high road. 
Do these like do these credits ever end? Can I like skip them actually? Yes, I will skip them. Cause we're gonna I think it adds the same credits for all of them, it looks like, because it was like crediting people from all three games. So we will uh I'll watch the credits in their entirety after I beat the third crash. Cause that'll be the end of the playthrough. And I'll probably have more to talk about once I can talk about all three games. But yeah, there it is. We finished Crash One. So that is the end of Crash Bandicoot, the first one. We're going to move on to uh, Crash 2, which I believe is the Wrath of Cortex. I think the second one is Wrath of Cortex. The third one is Crash Bandicoot Warped. So that's going to start a whole new series kind of deal. It's going to have its own playlist. It's going to start over at part one again. I'm going to change the thumbnail slightly. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to take the Crash Bandicoot logo out of the thumbnail and put the Crash 2 logo in its place. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough, despite how short it was and how upset I got at High Road. And I will hopefully see you for the next Crash game or other playthroughs. And until then, farewell.